What is up guys? I'm back today at Avington and this time it's for redemption. I came here a couple of days ago when I watched Aaron stock a uh, couple, couple, should I say, multiple monster browns. So I'm back today and I'm going to give them a good old bash. It's, um, it's forecast to be pretty windy today. So I haven't got my four weight for the dries. I've actually got a six weight uh, Zephyrus, Hardy Zephyrus rod with the Rio, Rio Grand line. And I've put on a, what I use for my dry fly setup here, which probably most of you already know or do. I've got a, uh, a tapered leader, there's a bit of glare on there, a Rio uh, Power Flex eight pound two uh, line, eight pound two pound. And I'm starting off with a fly that has had me a great deal of success with carp, trout, big brown trout, big carp. This, this, I don't think you can see it there. I haven't snipped the tag end. But this foam beetle, oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but great fly. I'll start off on that. Try and sight fish. Stalk a few off the top because Abington's always a great place for uh, dry fly fishing. Um, the other day when I came, sorry, I'm going up the camera. The other day when I came, uh, the water was coloured from all the rain we had over the Christmas period. So it was pretty hard to see fish on Lake One, but Lake Two, the water clarity was still amazing. And then my other rod, uh, my stalking or pulling rod is my uh, seven weight hardy ultralight another rio grand line and i'm going to start off today oh yeah and different line on this this is the airflow sight free fluorocarbon because we're going to be under the surface and it's less visible well it's supposed to be invisible i'm starting off with a let me get that in there so you can't see the uv on there but it's a uh, a white UV with a orange hothead um, stalking bug. You know, we'll have a see if see if fish go for it. If not, we'll quickly change the fly. Same as on the other rod. But today, I'm hoping to get a PB or just some big big browns. And apparently, which uh, Aaron invited me down again today, they're having a, a delivery of a, about. 500 uh, brownies uh, for the fish farm. I think they range from about four pounds to six pounds, which will all be grown on for future. But he said that there's actually a few uh, brownies touching 20 pounds in the stock pond ready to go in as well. So if you want to get down for big brown, if you want to come down and catch big browns anywhere, Abingdon is your place. So I'm going to crack on setting up now and get my uh, jacket on and stuff and sort the GoPro out and I'll catch you in a minute. Nice one guys, wish me luck. A lot of fish rising everywhere. Just tricky to spot. Come on, big brownies, where are you? Oh, you want a couple? Come on, Mr. Big Brown Trout. Got some uh, mucil in there. The Fuller's Earth type. Just gonna grease my leader up there. Just gonna grease it up so it sits in the water film and hopefully not on the surface. Quick, quick, quick. 
there's a big big brown there there's a fish there him in oh he took that right in front of the camera then oh, that was class oh, that was class <laughs> I think it's a tiger. Yeah, it's a tiger. This is on the sixth weight off the top. Fish number one out of the way. That first fish is a lot of time the best fish. Oh, he's not. There we are. Ah, nice tiger. Let's sort him out. Fish number one. Beautiful tiger. Oh, I do love tiger trout, pretty fish. Let's get him released. So this fish now, he's well rested and ready to go. There you go. I just seen about three decent sized fish over there. Oh, it's two big browns right in front of me. Right in front of me. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. I can't believe I just missed him. Right in front of me. Luke, what are you doing? Yeah, he's coming back. I missed him again. No. How could I miss it twice? Again, too excited. <laughs> oh, it's all part of the fun. I can't believe they were swimming right in front of me then. Oh, it was mental. There's a brown there. Missed him again. Oh. There we go. Snap me. All right. I'm having a little walk now. I cannot believe how many fish I just missed up by there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hopefully be in for a good day. The uh, fish are more active today. Now the water's cleared up. Let's take a slow walk down here. It's not 100% clear now, but it's clear enough. There's a rainbow there.
Nope. But I just looked in my fly box and I was going to try a gate bug under the bung. But I think I'm going to try this egg. Just going to try it under the bung now. About three feet under. On an airlock. Tighten him up. If not, we'll change back over to the gate bug. Fish rising everywhere. Just gonna be quiet on the top. Pull it up in the water, then drop back down. To fish right by it. Oh, damn. There's a few fish under it now. I can't believe I struck too early then. Yeah, I'm in. Yes, I'm in. There we are. The brown <laughs> egg. <laughs> Smash the rainbow. The first time, well, there's a leaf stuck in there, it's no good. Right, get off. Yeah, the, the first time I struck too early because I could actually see them going for it. Hey, how annoying is that leaf? It just will not get off my line. Ruining the whole fight. I get my net now. Whoa. Nice rainbow. And a big bend in the rod. The leaf will not go. What is going on here? Fair play, has a leaf ever ruined the whole fight of a fish for you guys? Because it have for me, like it's not a big fish because it's tangled on my lineup. Right, we're all, we're all square now. <laughs> what are they? They don't have fight to have it done, and I'm giving him. Oh. You know, for these small still waters, having done, they got some hard fighting fish. Fair play to them. Oh, he's on the net. That's a nice fish there. Probably. It's probably about four or five pounds. Right, so we just had a fish on that brown egg, which Martin tied up a while ago. Don't know why, I just thought he'd try it. Never tried it. I'm putting on a micro gator bug. Under the bang. How sweet. Let's try this deep, so let's see how it goes. And a couple of bites straight away. Oh, there's a, there's a fish there. Whoop, I'm slipping like hell down this bank. That's no good.
brownie by there now. Are they having a look at the bung? Or are they having a look at my fly? Oh, I missed him. Right, try not to swear this episode. I'm trying not to swear. Missed him again. There we go. Oh, I swear to God, if another leaf gets stuck in my line, oh, it's a good fish. Whoa, wow. Oh no. I'm in trouble with this one. Oh, he shook his head then, it felt like it came off. Oh. oh, this is a big fish. Oh. Oh. Come on, please don't lose this one. Please don't lose this one. Oh my God. Oh, it keeps feel. Whoa! Oh. oh my God, look at that rod. Right over the other side. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, look at that swirl. You know I'm excited? Cause it's been bloody hard today. I've tried Chucking everything at them. Emergers, yellow owls. I st stripped a few flies. I had the one under the bung. And I had the first one on the beetle this morning, but that was it. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice, nice fish. My net's up here now. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Look at that fish there. Can I turn his head? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's massive. It's massive. Oh, he's massive. Oh, I can't get it in the net. Oh, it's so big, I can't get it in the net. This might be a PB. I don't know. Oh my God. Look at that fish there. Yes, get in Luke. You worked hard for that one. I worked hard for that fish. Oh my God. I'm over the moon and shaking. Look at the size of this absolute monster brown. Fin perfect. I'm gonna have to weigh it. Look at the size of it. Is it a PB? Let's find out. The absolute size of this monster brown. I'm absolutely buzzing with this one. Oh, no. I wonder what he weighs. Let's put him safely back in the net to rest it. 10. Yeah, 12 10 with the net. 12 10 with the net? Yeah. It's not a PB, it's 11 pound, two ounces. It's still absolutely stunning. And a beast of a fish. Is he ready to go? Come on. All right, so we've got on a foam beetle now. There's fish moving around me. Oh. get another fish on the foam beetle. There we go. I'm in. Oh God. Let's 
so it's taking all the line out of my hand and a leaf again is going to be my downfall oh yes he come charging at that dry fly and do you know what it looks like the orange one I wanted to catch oh I think it's the orange one oh yes I think it's the orange one <laughs> oh, I hope it is. I hope it is. It's like when. Oh, oh. Oh, God. This is giving me one hell of a scrap. Dave. I think I just caught the orange one. I swear, I swear to God, I've been seeing it swim past. I know, I watched him go in the other day. I think it is anyway. Yeah, that's him. That's the orange one? Yeah. No way. Yeah, that's him. Mate, I've been watching it swim past, right? I've been having a go at it with a, with a, a white leech, yeah. all different kinds of bugs. Thing. Oh. That's one of the biggest they put in. No way. Nah, it's not. I don't mind. It's one of the prettiest. I know that. Look at that rod, mate. Oh, the brownies are coming soon. Oh. Oh, this is the it's the orange one. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. It's not the biggest, but it's probably the prettiest, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's the orange one. Uh, have you ever been carp fishing? And you're trying to catch that one, that one goldfish that's swimming around. <laughs> it's like yeah, that. That's not as big as I've thought, No, but absolutely stunning. That's definitely the orange one. I saw that white mark on his nose a couple of times. He's he's gone for my fly, and I, I just couldn't knock him. Right, let's rest him up. Oh my god, I've only gone and hooked the most beautifully coloured brownie that I've ever caught. It's like an orangey colour. I'll have to weigh him now and see what he weighs. Okay, let's weigh him up. Will they hold? Candy wants it steadies. Come on. 14. No, don't do that. Oh, come on. Might be a PB. 14.10. So that's, what was your net? Uh, 1.8. 1.8, that's 13. 13 too. Is that a new PB? What's your PB before? Oh my God, I've got a new PB. My previous PB was 12 and a half. I've caught three brownies that are 12 and a half. I couldn't get over it. 13.2. Yeah, 13 too. Give us a kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Oh my God, I cannot believe it. A new PB, 13 pound, two ounce. And it's probably the prettiest fish I've ever caught as well. Look at the orange colors. Zoom in on them colors. Oh my God, absolutely over the moon. Look at the size of it. Absolute beast. Let's release him back. I think he's ready to go. Look at the size of it. Go on, you're allowed to put the water on me. Sure. Show the show that we're there. So show we don't the, use buckets here. We do, show the thing. We go with the old feed scoops. Right. This guy's a carp angler. A carp tradition, if you catch a PB, is to throw water on someone. I'll put my hands up. I'm not a carp angler. But <laughs> I've agreed for him to chuck the water over me. Unfortunately, I got the bucket though, mate. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a mouthful? <laughs> oh, I had an earful. <laughs> I had an ear infection. I got enough. That's it. I'll just clean that. Well, this is the second tank, so, so we've done the first one, they've just been shot off. There's a few as they come out, they'll slow down, which you can get a picture of, but the, that tank there on the truck, we'll have to net those off. They're beautiful fish. Okay, like, so they're all browns? No? All browns. Okay, yes. we're there. Nice, long... So they're all mean, two to four pounds, you said? The average in three, but mm. they look tiny compared to these. Of course, yeah. But I got the nice. orange one. You did, yeah, you? Really uh, did you get a good um, shot of it? Right, stay up with the camera then, huh? I know you don't like it. Yes, sir. Okay then, so here's the big stock in of all the new fish. So say this is the third lot of uh, brownies going in now, which have to be netted in. Let me get a closer look and stand out of the way. Let's have a look. Oh wow. Next year's stock. Going in. How many fish do you have in a tank roughly? Uh, there's about a hundred and sixty each tank. Yeah, so hundred, roughly, roughly, roughly hundred sixty in a tank, and five hundred between these three tanks. Yeah. Let me try and get a thing in there. Do you know I've actually, I've actually seen your van on the motorway. <laughs> I, I have. A few people say that. I was gonna, I was gonna follow you. It's a bit, it's <laughs> a bit uh, distinctive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember where it was, but it was like fish taxi, <laughs> literally. Another great big bag of browns. <laughs> it's 
so hopefully all these next year are going to be monsters hard fighting monsters and Aaron said that the ones that are jumping around there now they're all they're adjusting their swim bladders that's right Dad. yeah adjusting their swim bladders because they were going into a new water gulping some air just in the swim bladders come on Alf I want to watch you fall in on camera it, it, the come on in, the I know going. the bank's going I want to watch you fall in <laughs> do it for the camera yeah straight <laughs> any minute now <laughs> Normally these are crystal clear, but I think with all the runoff with the rain, it's coloured the water. And another great big net of brownies. Any left? Two left, yeah, yeah. They just they just never end in. <laughs> this guy, sorry, I don't know your name. He's got a never never ending stock of browns. <laughs> never ending stock. Never ending stock of yeah. fish. Let's have a last look there. Look at all those beautiful browns. Look how long that one is. <laughs> wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. <sighs> Amazing sight. Abington is literally at his best again. Aaron does amazing job. He's done an amazing job. Rearing his fish. And I'm absolutely ecstatic that I've had a PB today. I've had a PB. I've been fly fishing for 18 years. You've got some arms on you. <laughs> Bloody hell. Need them, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's crazy how many fish you fit in there. Yeah, in there. I mean, when you open those valves up and let them go. Yeah. They don't they, seem they, like, they, 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 yeah, like many. but when you're netting them. But when you're netting them. <laughs> is that because you can't go back any further or? Sorry? Is that because you can't reverse back anymore or? No, no, it's just a. Uh, just less hassle really I mean obviously they come out the side on the trailer yeah but if you uh, I can take the trailer off and come in again and we probably ah, right, okay. I was just wondering that's all like yeah I, I've never seen so many brown trout in one go <laughs> oh I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Are you sick of them? Sick of them. Sick of them. I'm glad to see the back of them. <laughs> In a nice way. In a nice way. You probably see them when they're a bit older on Facebook. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Me older than about, oh, hopefully, yeah. There we are, that's all of them. That's all of them gone now, last last net. Three tanks, which are going to grow into tanks. Excellent. That's it, Abington is the place for browns, big browns, more browns, and even more browns. Yeah, mate. You love to pull me off, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, that that sheep there. Let me have a look. That sheep reminds me of someone. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah, my ex. Yeah, look, just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> He's pushing me in. <laughs> oh, the fish tax. It's mad. I've seen that on the motorway. The fish taxi. Okay. Right. Are they? Um, where you having the other ones? Small ones. Small ones. Over there, okay. Yeah, so in this so you're getting more rainbows. I can hear talks yeah, of more rainbows as well. Coming two, two trips, Aaron, because they won't all fit on in one. 
And they need two trips because there's that many rainbows come in. Wow. Well, so this is the fish farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight. Um, wait, there's more again at the back. Could be ten. Ten lakes. Wow. Okay, guys. So it's about half two now, and I am over the moon. I've just come down on the quad to um, watch all the new brownies coming in, showing everybody the new stock for next year that they're going to be bringing on. But I am ecstatic. I cannot believe I've got a new PB. I was that excited. I forgot to show you the fly, but I, I'm sure I videoed it earlier. It's this. Yeah. I actually caught a 30 pound grass carp on a on a fly only lake which doesn't use bait in the summer exact same fly i've caught big browns on it rainbows i don't know what it is but let's see if we can will it focus on there yeah it's focusing there this fly deadly and there's only one place i've seen that uh, sells it i've looked online it's a place up the valleys uh, in wales called valley pets I don't even think it would be that hard to make. That's it there. I've done serious damage with this fly. I'm having a break now, having a sandwich because I'm starving. And then I'm going to get back to it and hopefully catch a couple more fish. I've been fly fishing for, what, 18 years now. And that I've had three uh, brown trout, 12 and a half pound. All 12 and a half, they're my biggest ones. I couldn't break the barrier. The 13 2, new PB, I had a bucket in the water with the face. Um, but yeah, someone just called me then. Two sex. Yeah, I had a, a bucket of water in the face. It was all worth it. And hopefully one day I'll be able to do it again. But that ain't gonna come round often. Right, let's get back fishing. I think I think actually one of the boys is um, he was waving a beer at me. I haven't got my uh, glass on. Oh, these these are prescription glasses. I would be knackered without these. These are um, Fortis uh, switch lenses, so they change uh, color with with the weather. So if it's if it's uh, overcast like today, they go a bit lighter. And if it's sunny, they go a bit darker. But these are actually, sorry, I got a sandwich there. These are actually prescription. They did these for me. I uh, I give them a message or you can ring them up. Good as gold on the phone. Um, the thing is with me, I'm short sighted. So I can see good up close, rubbish from far away. If I didn't have these, I wouldn't be able to see any fish that I go for in these uh, crystal clear waters. I think that's uh, to show you how clear it is. Look, there's these chalk streams. You can see right to the bottom, right from um, gin clear water. Yeah, these big fish waters that I go to stalking. If I didn't have these, I wouldn't catch half of the fish that I catch and pick out. But I'm over the moon. I am over the moon. Hopefully, I'll have some more fish for you now. <laughs> Don't spit, swallow. Ah, that was a fail. <laughs> Let's have a chuck with that flexi stalker. Yeah, the reason I haven't fished Lake 2 is because it's windy today. Got a bit more cover on this one, and I wanted to try and spot what I'm going for. I was aiming for the big fish. There's a brownie there. That's a nice brownie.
feisty little one this is. Oh. It's a brown. <laughs> Don't know why we were in filming then because I wasn't even expecting to take it went a bit quiet. Get in here, you make an hell of a racket. Yeah, literally went a bit quiet then. And you know when you're just retrieving your fly, daydreaming. These fish are just so strong down here. Whoa. Oh no, this one might have got me in trouble. Am I going to be able to get it out of there? I don't know. Oh, is he in the trees? He's in the tree. He's out. He's out. Bloody hell. Now he's going in the bulrushes. Luckily I got a stronger leader. Oh no. Don't make me go in. I have got leaders on, but don't make me go in. I might just drag him over there, he's really small. Still lovely, but I have to drag him over. Another one in the net. Another lovely brownie there. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Getting dark now. And it's time to go home. It's time to go home. We go on, lover. Ooh, look at that tail slap there. Ah, come on. He's just tail slapping, he's not even fighting. Oh, right. My fly. Right, now he's free. My fly was wrapped around this bloody fin, poor flat fish. There we are, last fish, I'm going to call it a day, another double figure brown trout, just look at that there, wow, I have had a red letter day here at Abingdon, I'm going to release this one again for someone else to catch and for him to live another day, but what, another stunning fish. There he is, fighting fit. Yeah, another double figure brown swimming off in the distance. Last day for me. Like I said, it's been a red letter day. I had to have redemption, come back. I saw those fish get stopped, and obviously, they take a couple of days to settle in. I had to come back down and have a go, and it was well worth having a day off work. I am absolutely over the moon with today. Don't think I'll have another day's fishing like this again or for a long time. 
but thanks for watching let me know your feedback in the comments and i'll catch you again soon guys that's another episode of full-on fly fishing with myself And guess what? I am a little bit overexcited that I'm in this magazine this month. I'm buying one, two, three, four copies. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Is this normal or am I sad? So I just got home from a long day out, popped into Tesco on the way home, as you saw, and this is the February 2023 issue. Found out where I was in the magazine. There I am. There he is. Look at that fish from Diva. Nice little ride up there. Explaining how I caught the fish and what fishery and about my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I didn't get fish of the month, which looking at these, I probably should have, but as soon as I saw that little lad there with his, uh, must, be, must be his old man. Fair play, he should win fish of the month. It's always nice to get new people into the sport, especially the young ones. And I think he's gonna win this uh, fishing rod there. Fair play, young man. You deserve it, all the best. Cheers.